Hello, today we are going to draw a square given the measurement of one side. So the first step we are going to do is to draw a horizontal line at the bottom of our screen, as can be seen here, and on the left side we are going to mark a point A, which will be the first vertex of our square. So the next step, setting our compass to the given length L, we are going to transport this onto our horizontal line by setting our compass on A and scribing an arc to obtain our second vertex B as can be seen here. So this is the first side of the square that we are going to draw. So the next step is to draw a perpendicular line going through point A. And to do this we are going to use the four arc compass method. So we set the compass to any radius and we are going to draw four arcs with this same radius. First centered on point A we draw an arc to the left which cuts our horizontal line at point 1 as can be seen here in the video. So now with the same radius and our compass set on the new point 1, we scribe an arc to the right, cutting our previously drawn arc at a point which we will call 2. And again setting our compass on the new number 2, we scribe an arc to the right, cutting our original arc at a point 3, and can, as can be seen here. And finally setting our compass on the new point 3, we scribe an arc to the left, cutting our previously drawn arc at a point we will call 4. This is called the 4 arc compass method to draw a perpendicular line. And finally, we draw a line from A through point 4. So now, setting our compass to the length L and setting it on vertex A, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts our perpendicular line at a third vertex on our square. As can be seen here. Now setting our compass on the vertex B, we scribe an arc to the right. As can be seen here. And finally, with the compass still set to the same length and setting it on the previously drawn vertex, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts our previously drawn arc, as can be seen here. And where these arcs intersect will be the fourth and final vertex, which we will call C, as can be seen here in the video. And finally, we name our other vertex D. So the final step is to join the four vertices with a thicker line to show our square. So from A to B. And now from C to B. From D to C. Finally, we complete our square by joining vertex A to D. So here we have a square given the measurement of one of its sides. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our channel. Thank you.